Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolad. Today, I will talk to you about the valves of the heart. I recently got quite a few questions about this, mainly from viewers of this channel. So I decided to talk about them in this video. For those who are new to my channel, I am a board certified cardiologist and interventional cardiologist. And here on this channel, you will find lots of education about heart health and heart disease. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. So let's get started with this video about the valves of the heart. There are four main chambers in the heart. Two chambers are on the right side of the heart, an upper one and a lower one, named the right atrium and the right ventricle respectively. There are also two chambers on the left side of the heart, an upper one and a lower one, named the left atrium and the left ventricle respectively. There are two main functions of the heart. The first one is to receive deoxygenated blood returning from the body, receiving it in the right side and pumping it to be oxygenated in the lungs. The second function is to receive oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left side and pumping it through the aorta to the different organs of the body. The function of the heart valves is to maintain blood flow through the heart, keeping blood moving efficiently in one direction. There are four valves in the heart, as shown here in this illustration. Deoxygenated blood is received into the right atrium from the upper and lower parts of the body through the superior and inferior venae cavae. It is then pumped to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle is the main pumping chamber on the right side of the heart, and it then pumps blood to the lungs to be oxygenated through the pulmonary valve. After the blood is oxygenated in the lungs, it is returned to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. The left atrium then moves the blood to the main pumping chamber of the heart, the left ventricle, through the mitral valve. The left ventricle then pumps the oxygenated blood to the aorta to be delivered to the different organs of the body. Blood leaving the left ventricle through the aortic valve. When oxygen and nutrients are removed from the blood by the body organs, Deoxygenated blood is returned again to the right atrium and then to the right ventricle and then to the lungs and the cycle continues. Here is an animation of the movement of blood through the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart. As you can now appreciate, there are two circulations in the body and the function of the heart is to maintain both of these circulations in series. The right-sided circulation is also known as the pulmonary circulation and the left-sided circulation is also known as the systemic circulation. Both of these circulation work in series as shown here in this diagram. As mentioned, there are four valves in the heart. Two valves are in the right side of the heart and they are the tricuspid valve and the pulmonary valve. The other two valves are in the left side of the heart 
and they are the mitral valve and the aortic valve. As I mentioned before, the function of the heart valves is to maintain blood flow through the heart, keeping blood moving efficiently in one direction, as shown again in this animation. Here is an illustration showing the four valves in a cross-section of the heart looking at these valves from above. In subsequent videos, I will talk about diseases of these valves and how to treat them. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Dr. Bolad and then send me a private direct message and I will reply to you. If you found value in this video, then please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.